In this video, I'm going to go over the steps to make um, a very simple transaction. So we're not going to do anything too complex in this video. Um, just basically selling a, a basic product to a customer and um, going through the different sort of um, payment methods that can be used to complete the transaction. So in order to make a sale, you're first going to need you first want to be on the register screen so you want to make sure you tap register and you see up here we're on the register screen this screen is split up into two sections on the left we have sort of our ticket you know what items are on the ticket nothing so far and on the right side we have several different options so our first option is customers so if we want to make the sale to a specific customer we're going to want to either find them in this list or we can just search for them so let's search for john doe so we're going to do this first John Doe. So John Doe is now our customer. This is who we're selling to. And here, now that we've selected John Doe, we can see some of um, his information, including his cell phone number, his email, and the rewards um, points in dollar value that he has uh, accumulated at this store. Um, we can also tap receipts to see his receipts, or we can tap notes to see notes about him. And these can you know, notes you can add um, whenever you'd like. The next section is our product section. So this is the product catalog. Um, up here we have all the categories that have been loaded into this account, and down here we have all the products. Right now we're in um, all categories, so any, ca any products will show up. Basically everything in the store will show up down here. Um, so instead we want to go to a specific category. We're going to go to, um, let's go to shampoo. So we've got about six products in shampoo, and we're going to pick one of them. Let's just do the first one, let it shine. Um, so remember I said we're not doing anything complicated here, so there's not going to be any product modifiers on this. It's just a simple product. It is what it is, and that's what we're selling. Um, so now that we have let it shine added to the ticket, you can see the price, the subtotal, the tax, and the total with tax. Um, if we tap the product, over here, we can see a little bit more about it. So we can see the quantity we want to sell. So if you wanted to sell two of them, you can change that here. Um, price. So some uh, products will allow uh, the employee to override the price. So in this case, this one is one of them. We can see the quantity on hand. Um, we can see we can change the salesperson. Um, so if we wanted to. Um, if you want to keep track of who is selling the product for things like commission or just sort of general information about um, sales performance, um, you can put a salesperson in here. So let's say that um, Ben is the salesperson. And here we can say, do you want to apply the salesperson to all items? So if this was a ticket with several items and we checked this on, then every item on this ticket went uh, would be recorded as having Ben as the salesperson. If we checked this off, then we could um, specify each product to have a different salesperson. Lastly, we've got a discount. So we've got a bunch of different discounts loaded into here. Um, these are loaded through the settings section, which I will go over at, at another time. Um, but uh, basically, you know, you've got some that have already expired, some that will expire. Uh, actually, most of these have not expired yet. So these are all... Um, these are all current um, promotions going on that, that could be applied to this sale. And then, of course, you have a remove. So if you want to remove this product, if you made a mistake, you can tap re remove. And when you're finished, plus uh, you want to tap done, um, not cancel. So done will record um, the changes we made, such as salesperson and apply salesperson to all items. Done. Um, next we have tickets. Um, so we can look up uh, previous tickets and this will be useful for another tutorial video in which I'll be going over how to make a, uh, how to do a, a return or a refund or exchange. But for now, um, we don't need to go over this. And last, walk-in. This is again for uh, another um, tutorial video. Once we're finished with everything, we're, we're satisfied. We've got everything on the ticket. We've got the customer selected. We're going to want to tap charge. Now we're, go we're, we're taken to the payment screen. So up here we have the balance, we have the paying now, and we have our pay payment methods. Um, paying now essentially is how much cash or how much money is the customer giving you. So if you were paying cash, obviously you're probably not going to pay twenty four eighty one dollars um, every time. You'll have either $25 or someone will give you $30. So you would tap here, you would put how much cash you're being given, so let's say 30 bucks. And then you would say cash, 
and of course the balance is zero because he paid everything and you would tap complete. Once you tap complete, it'll give you the change, etc. For, for this transaction. I'm going to cancel this because I want to show you some of the other payment methods. Um, the other payment methods we have are check, if somebody wants to write a check, check number and driver's license number. Um, outside payment is if you have a credit card terminal that is not connected to the ICR system, which is probably not the case. But in in, in the case in this case, um, you would just you know record it as you you took the payment on an outside terminal. Um, we've got credit debit. So right now I don't have the device hooked up to the system, um, but when you when you do have it hooked up, it would ask you um, to insert the card and and complete the transaction. Um, we've got manual credit card entry, so if the machine is down and for whatever reason the card won't won't process, you can do a manual entry. Um, gift card, so in another video I will go over how to sell gift cards, but in this case if the customer already has a gift card, you would simply enter the code and tap pay. Account, so um, with ICR customers can have their own um, account which on which they can put store credit um, or if they made a return and um, they wanted store credit rather than cash back it would go on there and so here you would need their cell phone and pin number to their account and then here's their reward amount so um, this is uh, if you have a loyalty program set up which we do have one in this account and this customer John Doe has bought enough um, from this store to accumulate $64.19 in reward amount, and he could pay with that reward amount if he so chooses. What, before we complete this transaction, I also want to show you how to split the payment. Um, here we can, if we want to split the payment, we need to change the first amount, and then we give the second amount, or third amount, or fourth amount. So let's say we want to do $5 in cash. $5, so that's what he's paying now in cash. So now we've got $5 in cash, it subtracts it from the total, now we have $19.81. Well, let's say um, this person wants to pay, um, let's just say they want to pay the rest, or let's say they pay $10 in an outside payment, okay? So you took it from the outside terminal. Now it minuses the $10 from the total, so we have $9.81. For the very last bit, we're just going to use the reward amount reward amount. So now the 981 is taken out of that $64 reward amount. We tap complete and we get to the receipt screen. Now here we can either email the receipt to the to the email that's on file um, or we can send it to a, the uh, the customer's cell phone in a, a text message or we can print it directly from the ICR unit. Um, please note that um, the text message feature is only available for US numbers, so if they do not have a US number, you're going to want to do an email or a print receipt. And then once you're done, you tap close and back to the register.